find it helpful and still teaching French because that's another language, another means of communication. So I'm teaching two forms of communication, two languages, if you like. Dance is as much a language as French is. And you can communicate through your body all the time, just as much as you can with words. Few of those boys will be taking Covent Garden by storm. They're more likely to be cheering their favorite rugby side at Twickenham. A physical difficulty in this school is that Lower School East is at the far end of Tame, and the school is split. There, in an English lesson, some young poets comment on their world. Maths again. I never listen to what he's saying. Times, algebra, logs, fractions, it's all the same to me. I wonder who's listening. I'm not for one. I know, a copy of Charmin. She always gets them right. But she never helps anybody. Oh well, I just get them wrong. I hope we have stew for tea today, and it better be ready when I get home or I'll have a few words to say. <laughs> what am I doing tonight? I know, it's a disco. I haven't got anything to wear. I'll borrow my mum's skirt. She wouldn't notice. <laughs> just think, bright lights and music. Desperately thinking hard. Oh, I don't know what to write. Think, think quick. I've got to do my homework before Williams finds out I haven't done it. Oh, hurry up, Pamela. I can't concentrate. Rosie reads me her homework while I make paper boats out of last week's French test. Ah, oh, that's given me an idea. Quick, write it down before Williams comes in to take the lesson. She's coming down the corridor. Oh, Pamela, are you doing your homework? She's here. No, I finished it and put it away in my bag. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you really do that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. All right. Um, that sounded very good. I'd like to see it later. All right, Edmund. Perhaps we could hear um, perhaps just the first verse of yours. Latin and the sound of last-minute revision. Bodies become blurred objects and voices murmurs. I approach my dream world of fantasy, a stillness of objects as if time had stopped. Ah, I sit at the back of the class. Why do people sit at the front of the class? All you do is sit and listen and write, and sit and listen and write. But at the back of the class, I've got my own world. I sit and dream and dream and dream. A mo, a mass, a marmus. No, said the teacher wearily. Why will you never learn? I stood there for a while with my head down. Sit down. I was already at the back, so I couldn't go back any further. Well, why did they put me in this class? They know I'm no good at any language. They probably did it so the other kids would have something to laugh at. Just listen to Priscilla over there, chanting everything off without the slightest hesitation. She's lucky she can remember it all. Oh, well. A mo, a mass, a mat. G, A, E, G. Come on, I've got to remember it. You know what she'll say, old bat. She'll, she'll threaten to tie my head to the seat or stop my lessons. Well, I don't care. In fact, she reminds me of that two-headed monster in the book we read from yesterday. <laughs> yes, that's right. Come to think of it, I can see the likeness now. <laughs> now, what was it again? G, A, F, C and Handel, the fourth symphony in... Hey, what about those new trains my mum promised me? And we've got a match on Saturday. I've got to have them or I'll get killed seeing it's the third time. Oh, well, we'll thrash them anyway, and then perhaps she won't mind so much. And she's sure to forget until the next game comes up. Oh, they're so lucky out there in the sun. I wish I was there too. Anyhow, how's Aldrich going to help me when I've left the Of course, there must be problems here, not least of size. But there is no apparent split in the old secondary modern grammar school sense. Not everyone will want to join in after school shows, but at least in a drama class of medieval mystery plays, everyone participates in one way or another. Now, Isaac, dear son, we go on our way to yonder mountain as fast as we may. Right, thanks very much, Ben Scrooge. Um, now, you can see 
that this play was a play about obedience, obedience to God because the church had a, a great importance in those times and it also, um, the guilds who actually ran the plays wanted to encourage the ordinary people like ourselves to be obedient. Now I'm not going to waste any more time, I'm going to ask you in your groups to please work out a situation where one of those uh, things is brought out very much to the fore. It's got to be a modern day situation. Okay? Right, can you split in two groups now? <laughs> if you want to put it like that, you know, for fighting or stealing or breaking windows or acts of vandalism at all. The school here doesn't sort of pick out the people from middle class families and the people from upper class families and sort of segregate them. I mean, it's everybody's together, so everybody has the same opportunity and it depends on the individual how much they want to put into it. I mean, I, I could, if I wanted to, just come in and do my lessons and then go home again. I mean, I find that really boring, so I take part in as much as I can. And it brings you all together, you know, so you can actually join in. I mean, if there weren't such things as plays and musicals and everything, people just wouldn't be bothered with what's going on within the school, and they'd just forget about it. Take him away. Take him away. Take him where we cannot see him or him us. I will, I mean, Aslan. We'll deal with him later. Take him away! He stirs our hearts with fear So tie his hands and tie his feet Take him away from here Take him, tie him to a tree Leave him there alone Take him, never let him free Let him scream and moan Take him Final judgment, I will make the final plan. I'll decide what next will happen with. It's so happy because it's so informal. And the teacher sort of mucks in, and you all sort of find yourself wading through pots of makeup, and it's really good fun. And you're all one big happy group working to put on a production for everyone else to see. 